Well, it's been good. I mean, uh, you know, I'm excited to come to development camp and, you know, being able to have an opportunity to get the, uh, the job back home was, was a big part of it, was being a part of the uh, Leafs organization and a lot of smart people here, so I'm happy to be involved uh, at development camp. When did this all sort of come together, you going back home and that kind of thing? Uh, within the last, I guess, you know, month or so, you know, I just, uh, obviously being with New Jersey and, uh, you know, when I talked, when the, when the team came, to, was coming to Newfoundland, it was a position that I was uh, interested in, you know, I have an opportunity to start my head coaching career and uh, went through the process with uh, Toronto and then, you know, they offered me the job. So, you know, it was uh, exciting for me and it's uh, obviously they're, they're excited back home as well. Is that something you've really been targeting, a head coaching job, not it just happened to come around in Newfoundland? Yeah, I wouldn't say I was targeting at this this stage. You know, I think the opportunity was really, really good, and, and the opportunity not only to be it worked out that I was at home, but you know, a big part of it was being involved with the uh, and hired by Toronto and, and being involved with the uh, the coaches and the manager. And, and so, like I talked about, the the ability no different than the player for me to grow as a coach. And uh, you know, I, I really had a, a good thing going in, in New Jersey, and it wasn't an easy thing to leave, but I really felt for. Uh, an opportunity to start my head coaching career. This is uh, there's no better way. When did you start to get interested in coaching? Was it uh, when you were a player that you thought maybe this is something I'd like to progress into? Yeah, you know what? During the last walkout, I actually uh, was skating with the uh, San Francisco Bulls in the East Coast Hockey League, and I, I ended up somehow getting on the bench and started to coach a little bit, and <laughs> that's kind of when I got the bug. And uh, you know, when I got injured and was forced to retire, I was I still obviously wanted to play, but I was young enough that I could had an opportunity to stay in the league uh, as a coach, which, you know, was a, a great opportunity for such a young guy. And I knew right away within the first year as I started that this was, uh, I wanted to stay in the game. I knew right away this coaching was where I wanted to be. How far back do your roots in Newfoundland go and how big of a deal do you, is the Leafs coming back they're going to be, do you think? They're big. I mean, it's, you know, it's exciting. I think once the uh, affiliation was announced with Toronto, there was a lot of excitement. I think it really gave it a, a really good, uh, a bolt of energy to the organization back there and uh, you know I was a, a massive St. John's Maple Leafs fan back in the early 90s mid 90s and I didn't miss too many games and um, you know it's so the, I think it's as, as we get started or as we go along the I can feel the energy building back home and it's nice to have hockey back there again. How, how, what kind of players did you like in those days who are your favorite St. John's Leafs? Uh, DJ Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, it, it was, uh, yeah, we had, there was a lot of, you know, back then you just liked the tough guys, and DJ and Sean Thornton, and then those guys were all, uh, were all fun guys to watch. How would you describe how you, how you want to play, and, and how might that sort of line up with the style that they play here? Well, I, I'm sure we'll try to line it, you know, no different than the, uh, the Marlies with the Leafs, or, uh, you know, I'll probably talk to Sheldon quite a bit, and, and I, you know, obviously having some guys possibly from here uh, with me, so uh, certainly an aggressive attacking style. Uh, you know, kind of how most coaches would tell you they like to play nowadays. But you know, we'll we'll talk as a staff, and I'm sure, uh, hopefully, I can get uh, involved in that, and and we can try to work work together and, and figure something out. There's a good chance you'll have a few of these guys on the team. Have you been sort of taking notes on some of the guys? Well, you try to. I mean, you know, you try to. No, no real idea yet about a roster, but uh, there's some guys here that you keep an eye on that there, you know might be possibilities. So yeah, you, you have that in the back of your mind. Who was your favorite coach when you were a player? Oh, I had a lot of good ones. You know, I, I was fortunate enough. I had Tom McClellan in San Jose, who actually worked for Mike, uh, a great coach. Went had John Tortorella, had his own style, really liked him, and then had Pete DeBoer as well, who, who uh, has really helped me as far as the coaching standpoint and, and gave me a lot of uh, advice. And when I solicit information from him, he's been really good. And and then I got to work under John Hines, who's a tremendous coach. So, I, I feel real privileged. I've, I've actually loved all my coaches. Got nothing but respect for him. And uh, I don't know if I can pick one, but it's, you just pick a little bit from all of them. So, what's your role like under Hines? Forward, yeah, a little bit of power play. Ran a lot of the five on five. Uh, obviously, last year was on the bench. Uh, first year was an eye in the sky kind of role. Uh, so I, the role, my role, developed uh, last year. Uh, and, and the biggest thing for me was getting the bench experience. I think it's something you can't really um, make up for. You know, up, when you're up top, it's it's challenging. So uh, I, I touched a little bit of everything last year, which was good for me. When you Say you love those coaches, you respect those coaches, but in in moments, how often did you hate those coaches? I, I don't know if hate would be the word. At times, you'd be ticked off at them, and, and no different than I'm sure there's times they weren't too happy with me. But I think that's a mutual respect that I've always had with my coaches, and I think that comes with a, a lot of communication and a lot of trust. So trust is the big thing for me. Obviously, you had to retire you know, under circumstances that were probably not the best. How are you feeling now? How's your 
your, your health. Uh, yeah. Recovery. Yeah, I feel good. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a, the first year out of the, out of the game was hard, real hard, and then it was a transition period. Coaching, getting back into coaching, being around it every day has probably been, you know, the best for me. It's just uh, given me another real jolt of energy, and, and also I've been able to get back as far as working out and uh, getting back on the ice and doing a little bit of skating. So, you know, I, I feel good. I feel good. Uh, uh, especially last year, it really started to take a turn. So, you know, I know it was, uh, it was a couple of long years, but starting to starting to see some light.